All right, welcome to part number 12 from uh, chapter 11. And in this one, we're going to talk about a, another interesting gene interaction, and this is called polygenic traits. And if you can remember from previous episodes when we talked about uh, proteins, especially like polypeptides, poly is a prefix that means many. And of course, genic refers to genes. So this uses the interaction of several different genes. So we're not talking about alleles necessarily. We're talking about genes. So as you can look up here with human skin can or skin color being a good example, we have one, two, three different gene pairs involved in your skin color. So remember, genes come in pairs, so three times two would be six. So we have the interaction between six different genes or, you know, uh, three different gene pairs leading to your skin color. Now, look at the size of this Punnett square. This one has 64 boxes. And these guys will produce eight different gametes. Now, you are more than welcome to do a 64-box Punnett square to figure out this. But that's way too difficult. It makes it too easy for you to make a mistake. So we are going to use the laws of probability to our advantage. Okay? So let's say... We've got an individual who has a heterozygous uh, genotype. So their skin color in here is going to be just flat out medium right down in this row. And we're going to cross that with an individual who is, say, dominant for that, recessive for this, or uh, heterozygous for this, and this recessive for that one. So that individual will be probably right around in uh, this area somewhere. Okay? So a relatively, actually, they'll be up in this area, relatively. Uh, uh, dark. Actually, let me see. They'd probably be about right here. So they'd be kind of somewhat dark. Okay. We can do this whole Punnett square and figure this out, but that's ridiculous. So we're going to look at each of these individually because we can do Punnett squares like this. Okay. So we got one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we're going to make three Punnett squares. Okay. So let's look at the A's by themselves. Big A, small A, big A, big A. Okay, and then let's do the B's here. Big B, little B, big B, little B. And we know that's going to be a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. And then the C's will be like this. And little C's. So it'll be big C, little C, big C, little C, little C, little C, little C, little C. And big A, big A. And then these guys over here will be heterozygous, okay? Hope you guys can see that scribble. All right, so now we've got what we need to figure out a problem. So let's say, what is the chance of these guys having a kid that's like this? Okay? So if we have these two parents, what's the chance of them having a kid like that? So we're going to look at each letter individually. So the chance of being two big A's is this column right here. So that would be a 1 out of 2. And then we're going to multiply this. What's the chance of them being two little B's? That's that box right there. So that's one out of four. And what's the chance of them being big C, little c? Is one out of two. So you just multiply these together. Two times four is eight. Eight times two is 16. So there's a one out of 16 chance that their kid will have this genotype. And that's how you do polygenic traits. You want to use the rules of, pro of, of probability to your advantage. So if you can do this math, you don't have to do one of these, and that'll be a nice little shortcut for you when you do these kind of problems, okay? Until the next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side, and there's only one more episode to go.